One phone call circulates on repeat in this lady's mind. She was in bed on Sunday morning when her phone started ringing. She didn't recognize the number and almost declined it. But then she thought of a family interstate and her dad's recent medical scare, so she answered the phone. On the other end of the line was Martin from ANZ Fraud Squad, who spoke calmly with a British accent and said her credit card had been compromised. He said, have you recently made any recent purchases using your credit card to Budget Air or My Trip or Booking.com? Without handing over any information, Martin recited her full name, credit card number, and other personal details. There was no real red flag that's going off at this particular point in time. I was thinking, I've got my address, he's got my number, she said. He had to cancel the fraudulent transactions on her card. All she had to do was provide a code that he sent to her mobile phone. Within 10 minutes of providing the code, she received another call from an unknown number. This time, it was the actual ANZ crime squad. They informed this lady that she had been scammed at $114,000. The code Mrs. Panther had provided authorised the transaction out of her account. So far, ANZ have offered no compensation or return of the money. The victim goes on to say, I haven't really slept very much, let alone eaten very much. That money is my late husband's money. I'm ashamed and I'm embarrassed and I feel hopeless. Mrs. Panther said the police had also done very little to investigate the scammers, directing her to submit a complaint on the ASIC website. An Australian Competition and Consumer Commission report found that Australians lose an estimated $3.1 billion per year to scams, an increase of 80% from 2022 to 2021. Major bank customers lost more than $550 million to scams last financial year alone, with 31,700 customers impacted. Sunshine Coast resident Greg Haynes lost $40,000 to a sophisticated spoofing bank scam last September while he was working overseas. He said he had planned to use the money to buy his daughter her first car or help her send her to university. Greg had also received a phone call from the ANZ Crime Squad. He questioned their authenticity, but the scam was already. Within 10 seconds, there was a text message saying, you're speaking with David Hale from the fraud department, and that put my mind at ease straight away. He said banks had a responsibility to upgrade their processes if they could be so easily replicated by scammers. Like text messages, if it's able to be compromised by spoofing, it should never be allowed to be used anymore, he said. Despite being unable to help either of these customers, ANZ Bank Head of Customer Protection, Shaq Johnson, urged scam victims to contact them. Miss Panther and Mr. Haynes are not alone. A new report from ASIC has found that four major banks absorbed just 4% of total scam losses, with customers bearing 96% of all financial losses. ASIC Deputy Chair Sarah Court said banks had made significant investments in their anti-scam efforts, but the overall approach was less mature than expected. Banks detected and stopped just 13% of reported scam payments from customer accounts, according to the report. According to ASIC, the reimbursement rate of scam victims was between 2 and 5% of their losses, and on average, only 11% of people were compensated. These scams are growing in numbers and growing in their complexity. It's possible to buy toolkits on the dark web that enable almost anybody with very, very little technical experience to be able to pull off sophisticated banking scams and phishing email attacks just like this one. My advice would be to anyone watching this video that any text message or any phone call you receive from purportedly your bank or any other financial institution, you hang up and you phone back the number that's printed on the back of your card and you do not hand over any details, any passcodes, any text messages, any authorization codes at all. But ultimately, the banks in Australia, they need to do something about this and they need to do it fast.